Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can make Notepad++ as a default text editor on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. By default on Windows 11, we have Notepad. Notepad is a basic note taking tool on Windows 11. Now if you want some advanced feature, then you can use Notepad++. You can say Notepad++ is the upgraded version of Notepad. Now let me show you how you can make Notepad++ as a default text editor. For that, first of all we have to install Notepad++ on our Windows operating system. To install it, just open your browser and search for Notepad++ and open the link from notepad++.org. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. Simply open this link. Here click on download and download the latest version of Notepad++. It will download an installer file. Simply open this installer file. Here we have the installer window. Let me minimize the browser. From the drop down menu, select the language, then click on OK. Here we have the setup window. Simply click on next. And here we have to accept the license agreement. Simply click on I agree. And here we have our installation folder. So if you want to change this installation folder, then you can change by clicking on this browse button and you can browse your location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default, then click on next. And here we have an option to select some component. Let me keep it default, then click on next. Now if you want to create a desktop shortcut, simply check this box, then click on install. It will take some time to install. Here you can see that Notepad++ has been successfully installed on our Windows computer. Here simply uncheck this box then click on finish. Now we have Notepad++ on our Windows system. Now let us discuss how we can make Notepad++ as a default text editor. On Windows 11 there is no direct way to make Notepad++ as a default text editor. We have to do it manually. So here are the steps. For that simply visit settings then click on apps and here you will find default apps option simply open the settings and here on the search app option simply search for notepad here you will not find notepad plus plus option simply search for notepad and simply select this notepad option and here you will find all the file types and the associate application that will open this file type by default on windows 11 we have notepad now we have to change this notepad option to notepad plus plus for that simply select notepad option and here simply click on more application and here you'll find all the list of application that can open this file type here if you find notepad plus plus option then it's good enough you can simply select notepad plus plus then click on ok if you don't get this option then you can simply follow this step for that simply select notepad option Click on more apps and here you will find an option called look for another apps on this PC. Simply click on this link and it will open your programs file folder. Here search for notepad++ folder. So here we have our notepad++ folder. Simply open this folder and here search for notepad++ application. So here we have our notepad++ application. Simply select this then click on open. Similarly, you have to follow this step for all these file types. After you had changed Notepad to Notepad++, as you can see here, simply close this window. If you want, you can restart your computer. Now to verify, you can simply create one text file. Let me create one text file using Notepad. Say for example, hello, and let me save this file. Let me save it on desktop. Let me write the name, say for example test, then click on save. Here you can see test text file has been created. Now let me close this notepad option. So here we have our text file. Let me try to open this text file. Here you can see this text file has been opened on notepad++. So this way you can save notepad++ as a default text editor on Windows 11. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, 
don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.